In this tutorial, I'm going to show how to uh, create the avatar. So I'm going to start with an image in iPhoto. So we'll take uh, Riley here, who I know we're working on. And I'm going to go ahead and edit this in the external editor. So part one of this is going to be getting uh, her isolated, her headshot isolated on the background. And, um, and because she's got frizzy hair, we'll use the channels method to do this. So uh, first I'm going to make a copy of her uh, so I don't really screw it up. Now I'm going to chop her down a little bit so I've got a little less to work with. So I'm going to crop that. Okay, now I'm going to um, go over here in the channels and try to isolate her. So we'll, uh, we'll turn some of these off. And uh, I like generally found uh, most success working in the blue channel. Um, let's see about the red channel. Uh, her, her face is too close to the background there. So, um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to um, do some levels. So I'm going to do control L and we're going to try to uh, change her picture so that she's as black as we can get her and the background is as light as we can get it. So that's um, okay. That's getting helpful and at best we can get the edges of her um, black and then we can color in the rest. So that's probably that's probably pretty good. Um, and what I didn't do here is isolate uh, isolate that blue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, jump back. I'm going to uh, create a copy of the blue level, and uh, and that's what I'm going to work with here. So jump back into my Control L, and uh, how do we have that? All right, so get there, and uh, I still want to pick up these areas of her hair so that we can isolate that. So that's that's probably good enough. And now I'm going to take my uh, my brush, and I'm gonna, I've got it black down here, so I'm going to just color her in. So in this mode we're going to be able to isolate on the black and eliminate the white so that's pretty good so if we have some frizzy hair I'm going to use the dodge and burn tools um, and they are right here dodge and burn to enhance the highlights uh, or eliminate the highlights and enhance the black so here I'm just going to do some enhancing of the black uh, on her hair And then I'm going to use the dodge tool to really get get rid of some of this background white or gray and make that as white as we can get it. Um, and so this requires a little bit of work. Um, so I'm just going to keep trying to clean up and get as clear a line in between the two of these as I can get and just clean up as much as I can on that on that white. I could even use the brush here if I wanted to. So so now this should give us a pretty clean pretty clean um, uh, differentiation and uh, I'm going to pick up a little more of that hair right over here. I don't want to do it too much, but uh, okay. So, so now I'm going to deselect this, and I'm going to um, hit Control Inverse. Okay. So now that we have her uh, isolated and inversed, we'll hit Command Click on the blue layer of the blue channel, and she's been highlighted. So I'm just going to turn all this back on. I'm going to come over here to the Layers tab, 
and I'm going to um, inverse the selection and delete out the background. So now um, if I deselect, we can see that uh, we've got a little bit of her hair showing through and the background's completely transparent. Now the next step, so I'll stop there for part one of the tutorial.